Today I'm going to talk to you about the Dickies Red Hawk Pro trouser. This is a great trouser. Uh, it's actually particularly good for the summer because it's quite lightweight. Um, it's about 250 gram, I think, off the top of my head, um, and it's a poly cotton mix. Now it's got a few nice features about this trouser in particular, the fact that it does actually have nail pockets. Um, some people like them, some people don't. If you don't like the nail pockets, I'd recommend the WD884, which is the Dickies Superwork trouser, comes in all sorts of colors. Now this particular trouser comes in black and it comes in navy. With the black, you get a red detail stitching, which is very nice, and a little bit of white stitching on here. With the navy, you get like a, a light sort of cyan blue, which is also very nice, but it's very subtle, so don't worry about it being too glarish. Now, the, the knee pad pouches on these aren't reinforced like you will get with an Eisenhower trouser, but this is again just a, a material flap, which is the same material as the trousers. And with this one, it's actually got um, a similar type um, knee pad pouch which is a pillowcase fitting which you put up and it comes back down again against a piece of fabric underneath but also it's got a little bit of velcro on there so the the knee pad doesn't flap away this is about 10 pounds more than your entry level red hawk uh, super red hawk trouser um, but it's, it's a really nice trouser for the money so a few features you've got on the left leg you've got a pocket which is ideal for your wallet or a uh, your mobile phone. You've also got a little pocket on the front of that pocket, which is probably more suited to your iPhone or you know mobile phone. Um, on the right hand leg, you've got a hammer loop, and you've also got this um, like um, ruler pocket, which is ideal for um, like screwdrivers or not. Not really. People don't really use rulers like these days. That in in the other trousers they used to use like the ruler pocket. So when it was an engineering trouser, but now this has now become like a craftsman trouser. And so you'll find more builders, more electricians, more plumbers wearing this particular product. Um, I often get asked actually, what is this little like pocket with these two like sort of like uh, button flaps in it? You know, little slits in there. Well, that's actually. If you've got a, um, a builder's pencil that you normally have behind your ear, uh, as you sharpen it down, it gets shorter and shorter and it pops down in there. So the little holes are actually so you can put your finger in and push your pencil back out so you don't lose it. See, so I know all this stuff. So on the back of these trousers, you've got two pockets and a key feature that you'll find on good trousers is that the pocket is actually not sewn right on the seam. So this, this is a fold of material and then it's stitched. And what that does, it just basically makes that pocket stronger. Now, if that was actually stitched like you'd see on a normal trouser or a cheaper trouser, then what would happen is eventually the screws and the tools in your back pocket will split the seams and uh, split the stitching and you lose everything. Also, one little thing that you might see on these trousers is bar stitches. And these bar stitches just make the stress points a little bit stronger. It's really good. Um, actually for the money it's a great great trouser and I really like it the comfort is really good it's got a really good fit as well you find some trousers are too high or too low but the actual cut of this trouser is really good and it's also got quite a bit of leg room as well which is really good especially if you're working on scaffolding you need to get your leg up so uh, yeah great product this is the uh, Red Hawk Pro for more great reviews, blogs and free stuff, visit askady.com. To subscribe to our YouTube channel, click here. And for more videos, click here.